Come on, Dr. Meyer, here's the toucan. Jason, I didn't say toucan, I said you can. Oh. Hi, thank you for joining us for another You Can Too Can video presentation presented by Airlink at Regional West Medical Center in Scottsbluff, Nebraska. My name is Trish Garner. I'm a flight nurse um, for Airlink. My name is Jason Rigg. I'm also a flight nurse and a basic EMT. Today we're going to be reviewing basic C-spine immobilization. But first, in the first uh, video you noticed Pete and Tracy shot a toucan. I'm going to teach you guys the proper way to shoot a toucan. Now that we're at our alternate location, because everyone knows firearms are prohibited on hospital property, I'm going to show Pete and Tracy how you really shoot a toucan. What I have here is a 50 caliber, the most powerful rifle in the world. Of course, we have our PPE on. We have eye protection and ear protection. Trish has hers on. So everybody, get ready, stand back. I thought you were going to put the seat collar on me, but now it looks like I'm going to have to put the seat collar on you. Okay guys, let's do it. Hi, welcome, and now we're going to show the appropriate application of cervical spine immobilization. Um, obviously, before you ever work with a patient, you should apply appropriate PPE for the situation, you guys. Now I have Jason, who's here on the ground, who's complaining of neck pain. So what we're going to do is I'm going to ask for some assistance to go ahead and place his C-spine in a neutral position. Sean, this is important. What I'm going to do is want to check his CMS, you guys, to begin with, because I'm going to want a baseline on how he can move and everything like that. Jason, can you feel me? Everything's Between working. Moving. Now we have your standard C collar. A lot of different units and places have ones that are appropriately sized for different age groups. This one's adjustable. So what I'm going to do is measure from his jaw down to his shoulder. Place it on here so that we know what distance to, to snap this into. This looks like a good... We're going to place this behind his head. Hopefully... Um, slide right through and with some assistance and holding that C-spine in. So we're going to wrap it around here. We want this to fit snugly, you guys, but not too snugly. But we want his his head immobilized. How does that feel, Jason? Yeah, feels much better. I'm going to go ahead and check his distal CMS again to make sure that everything's um, along his baseline and stuff like that so I can report that to the receiving facility. At this point, we're going to go ahead and immobilize him to a backboard. And this is where it's important where we can further immobilize that cervical spine. Clint's going to help here. And we're going to, we're going to, Jason's able to move so he can help us a little bit, but otherwise I'm going to count this down, or actually Sean Wilson, he's at the head. And we will go ahead and place this. On my count of three. Padding is important in these situations. At this point, we do not have enough padding, but when you do get a chance, it would be nice. And now we're going to go ahead and center him on this board with Sean's assistance. Got it. Now we have him on the backboard, and what we need to do is go ahead and immobilize the rest of his body prior to um, immobilizing his head anymore. I'll go ahead and let Clint go ahead and immobilize his body. I'm going to go ahead and talk about a couple other um, things that we can use to go ahead and immobilize people. Let's say, for instance, Jason has no neck, you know, and you can't fit a cervical collar on it appropriately. There's always towel rolls. Um, if you have a child, you can go ahead and wrap it around them like this, or actually a larger person with no neck, and go ahead and try and immobilize their C-spine that way. <clears throat> now 
Now that we have him immobilized, I'm going to go ahead and check distal CMS again before we load him and transport him to the receiving facility. Would you like to say thank you for joining us? Thank you for joining us for another You Can, Do Can presentation.